like getting up early either but I like this class a lot better we're gonna go to the gym after Megan gets home from school I hope so how are you feeling go on myself here I only got about four and a half five hours sleep so most likely I will need to nap a little later so we're off to my diabetes class, class, uh, or not diabetes class, my gastric bypass class, class number eight in a line of 12. So, yay. Yay. So, not too much longer. Anyway, I'll catch you all a little later. Say bye. Bye. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Nope. So guys, we're here. Kevin's getting my wheelchair out for me and then we are going in and I will see you later when Kevin picks me up. He's going to have Bootsy with him because we have to take her to her doctor's appointment. Okay, so we just finished with my class. Um, Kevin just picked me up and we have Miss Bootsy in the car because she has her doctor's appointment and we're on our way to see Dr. Bart right now and Bootsy's not too happy meow meow <laughs> okay so I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with the refrigerator uh, I've gotten some comments about uh, what it can be and um, let me show you where it's actually leaking. I feel that if it was leaking from the wall, well it's not leaking from the wall because then it would just be wet underneath the refrigerator. The water is actually coming out of the refrigerator and I'll show you the refrigerator. This is the freezer and on the bottom right here there's a sheet of ice because something inside is leaking and uh, the when the sheet of ice gets thick enough it just starts running out the front here so the first thing I do is take out all the ice that is accumulated and it doesn't take long to accumulate so it's behind the, these um, uh, drawers that's uh, it's leaking something inside the refrigerator so I actually have my answer. I just looked up uh, the exact model of a refrigerator and said leaks and I got this the exact leakage. Someone asked a question uh, from this called Shop Your Way. I don't know what uh, that is. But it said I understand. Where is it? Uh, Whirlpool Gold Bottom Freezer leaking and ice on the bottom of freezer. And that's exactly what I have. And it says that the um, the freezer line is it behind the door here and I'm gonna have to remove them and I'm gonna have to clear the freezer line in the back so that's not gonna be fun but uh, it is what I'm going to do all right so I made a bit of a mess of the floor getting all the ice out now I'm gonna have to take all of my freezer items and put it into a cooler for now I have to take the basket drawer out so, I have to figure out how to do that. I don't think I need to take this drawer completely out, but this basket drawer has to come out. So I had to pull the entire freezer part out. And um, there is a, um, a hole here that's a drain for, for uh, condensation to go into the drain pan that's underneath the refrigerator, which is dry and it's full of ice so 
that's the situation that I'm looking at. That's what's causing it to leak. It's um, the drain is frozen over and everything is just coming out here and freezing on the pan down here. So, and I think that happened because one day when we had um, kids over, the freezer was left ajar and it probably got frosted over from uh, uh, condensation from outside because usually there isn't any frost in this refrigerator and it works fine. So, my only big problem of course is now I have frozen goods all over the floor and I don't know how they're going to turn out because it's not being easy to clear this. I'm putting hot water on it and um, seeing what I can do. Alright, I'm sorry I'm soaking wet from being inside this freezer, but um, I discovered how I'm going to get this plug out of the freezer here. You see it back there? I am going to have to get out a hair dryer. Okay, it looks like I've got it pretty much cleared out. I have, uh, using my really high-tech equipment here, which is uh, a turkey baster and a cup of hot water. And I'm just running it through here. See if it'll, if it's gonna drain, which it appears to be. Okay. So I think I'm done with the repair. Now, the biggest problem is all of this cleanup. And uh, I don't know how, but of course I managed to always cut myself whenever I do any of this stuff. So don't tell Val. All right, so I think I have fixed the problem. And uh, I have to figure out the programming on this thing again because I don't remember it. Made nice mess. Uh, I lost a lot of um, ice cream kind of products, but the frozen dinners were still rock hard, so I was able to put all that stuff back in, but um, all the ice cream stuff that none of us really needed in the first place, I think we lost it. So I'm going to clean this mess up, and I think that's it for today. Hello, everybody. Mm. I had a nice long nap. Yes, I did, Boomer. I had a nice long nap. Mm -hmm. Scratchy, scratch the chin, the chinny, scratchy, scratch. Yeah. Your scratch is all gone. Now Boomer's got one. You two are just going back and forth. Yeah, I don't know what's with you two. Well, I should say with Mojo. Did I say Boomer? I don't know. Oh, Boomer's scratch is almost gone. Now Mojo has one on her nose. But Mojo seems to want to fight with all of the animals. All of them. She went after Ebony yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's a bully. I told you that. Well, she grew up outside, so she's a street cat, you know? And uh, she kind of brought her street smarts into the house. So, but while I was sleeping, Kevin figured out the refrigerator. Yay! Of course. No more coming out here in the middle of the night and stepping in refrigerator pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we called it anyway. So, I, uh, ready? I gotta put this back on, but right now I just dressed, so I have it off. But I'm ready to go to the gym! Yay! But it's hot in here, and Kevin's got everything wide oh, open. Oh, it's so nice. They got the doors open. We got a nice breeze coming through. There's no breeze. There is no breeze. 
You could hear the, the wind chimes Yes, outside. but it's not coming through the house. Uh, it feels nice in here. It is hot in here. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look. It is what hot is in it? here. Well, it's probably not like that hot outside. Like 70 degrees. Like it's 70. not that hot outside. It's 70 degrees outside. But <laughs> I'm telling you, this room bakes because the sun not. comes right down on this room. Uh, and the, the air conditioner, there's no AC in this room. Well, there, it's been too cool for the air conditioner to kick Okay, in. I understand that, but there's no breeze coming through this room. <laughs> yes, we got both doors open, and it would make sense that there would be a breeze coming through this room, but there is no breeze coming through this room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Get my fan out and turn my fan on! Oh, jeez, you hear this, Boomy? <laughs> Boomy's wearing a big fur coat, and he's happy. Boomer, I know, if you could say it, you'd say, I'm hot too, Daddy, get me the fan, get me the fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know what that was about. Either. <laughs> so, so you're either pet or leave me Okay, alone. so are you all in cahoots with Kevin? Are you all in cahoots? Just wondering. Show me your hands, babe. What? Show me where you cut oh, yourself and you asked oh, everyone. You're fall. Boomer. Not the most. He's gonna knock your pack. soda on your lap. I know. I know. I know. I haven't been paying any attention to you. What? So show me, show me the cuts. They're not supposed to tell me about that. I noticed right away that yeah. something was wrong. I noticed things with you because, uh, yeah. Show me your hand. So we got this cut mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, those little See blades it? on the, uh, what do you call it? And that cut right there. The radiator blades. And sharp. what made me look is his knuckles right here. Because I thought they were bruised, but he says they're just scabs because he can no longer use his flat hands when he lifts himself up. He needs to use his knuckles to lift himself up. Yes, I'm a knuckle dragger now. You're a knuckle dragger. And then those scratches are still look from Boomer. Look at this, look at this. Boomer. You missed it. He had I, the straw in his mouth. <laughs> Ow. You're weird. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> there he goes again. You see this? He had it in his lip. He was going, <laughs> You are a strange cat. Ow! <laughs> Come here, buddy. I think you need a new <sighs> straw. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Why do you like to bite, Daddy? I think we need to put this out there. Does anybody know why he bites Kevin's nose? Just curious. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. I had class today. She has class. I don't have class often, but class. Um, we hope we uh, we took Bootsy to the vet. So we hope that may have solved her peeing problem. Well, uh, and I fixed the refrigerator's peen problem. We hope. What do you mean, we hope? Of course I did. I just don't like coming out here in the middle of the night barefoot, stepping in refrigerator pee. And I don't went to the gym me. today. Woohoo! So, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the little red subscribe button down below if you're not already following along with us. And share this video with your family and friends. Ah, you're yelling in my ear. <laughs> because why? Because you're yelling in my ear? Because they may want to hear me yell in Kevin's ear too. I can't see anymore. Can't see any less either. Ow. Bye. Boy. Boy.